BMW shows off an i8 fuel cell concept. Subaru shows off its Hyper Blue Series versions of the BRZ and WRX. And the 2016 Mazda MX-5 Miatas have landed on US soil, coming to a dealership near you. Plus, Nissan Infiniti is, uh, well, they're cutting extra SUV baggage, I should say. And it's Friday, people, so we're gonna up the horsepower on this show for some rapid fire news. <laughs> Boom! Nice, yeah, no Max today, so we didn't get the usual pops. I mean, they're okay, though. They're okay, yeah, your pops were good. Thank you. You popped off. I did. Yeah, you good. Come on. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. This is Fast Lane Daily on a Friday. 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 Nissan and Infiniti have struggled pretty hard to sell the Pathfinder and QX60 hybrids. So what do you do when that happens? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You drop them. You say, beat it. You ain't working out for us. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Take a walk. That's what they said. Oh. Yeah, both these models paired a 2.5 liter four cylinder with an electric motor via CVT transmission for 250 horsepower and 243 pound feet of which, let's be honest here, that ain't much to move the heavy SUVs. While the quoted mileage for both cars was 26 miles per gallon combined, real world testing averaged a lot worse. And at a $3,000 premium for the hybrid versions, no one has been buying them. So they are doing another kind of buying. Buh, buying. See ya. Good one. That is a good one. Guess what? The first crop of 2016, aka ND generation Mazda MX-5 Miatas have arrived in the US before they hit dealerships in the next few weeks. Launch edition MX-5s get a sole red exterior with adaptive LED headlights and 17 inch alloy wheels. It's a nice little sports car. I forget which auto show we saw it at when it debuted. Was it LA? Uh... I forget, but we saw it in person, very nice. They're all jumbled in my head. At this yeah, point. one of them. Anyway, the model also has heated leather seats. That's what I'm talking about. An automatic climate control system. Mm. And Bose Audio with Mazda Connect infotainment system. Bam. Brought it home. Yep. Yep. All US spec Miatas are powered by a two liter Skyactiv engine that produces 155 horsepower and 148 pound feet of that what, Erica? Torque. Yes. Now remember, it's not pushing a lot of weight, so even though it's not crazy numbers, it's still substantial. It can be paired to either a uh, six-speed manual or six-speed automatic transmission, but for a car like that, manual is the way to go. You know what I mean? Jeez, look at all of just look at all of them in this video. Can I have just one? I mean, you have so many there. What's the big deal? Just give me one. Mm. You know, Mazda. Like, you know, we're talking about you. Just hook a brother up. Yep. So many in that parking lot ready to get shipped out to you guys. Subaru introduced the new BRZ and WRX STI series for the American market. Erica, you stoked? Psh, psh, yeah. as a yes? Yeah. The special editions get a hyper blue exterior with black mirrors, black badging, and 17 inch alloy wheels with a black finish. Inside there's leather and Alcantara seats with blue accents and blue stitching a two-tone leather-wrapped steering wheel, embroidered headrests, and blue trim. This car is mad blue. Da-boo-dee, da-boo-dee. It's blue, da-boo-dee, da-boo-dee, the STI. Da-boo-dee, da-boo-dee. It's blue, yeah. The STI version adds 18-inch BBS black alloy wheels. Production will be limited to 500 units of the BRZ and 700 units of the WRX STI. Erica, you getting one. I'd rather have World Rally Blue. Road Rally Blue. Well, I mean, it is a nice blue. It's a very nice blue. I still prefer darker. Darker blue. Mm. Sorry. BMW is steadily working on its mission for better alternative energy vehicles with its latest concept, an i8-based hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. It kind of looks like bizarro i8 to me, but you know, the back's kind of weird. Anyway, the technology in this concept is planned for use on a larger scale for the BMW brand by 2020. The zero emission model makes 242 horsepower. BMWs will reveal five series GT-based prototypes 
with similar technology in the coming months. And we already know BMW is planning to build the i5 sedan with fuel cell equipment. So, you already know, because I told you. I got you. Yeah. Hey, time for some faster news reading with everyone's favorite Friday segment, Rapid Fire News. Boom. Boom. That was deep and guttural. Yeah. It was good. That guy's not here today. No. I was surprised. I think he's out sick. I mean, he always shows up, but yeah, good thing, because he's, you know, he's always like weird noises. Yeah, ill. All right, you ready, Erica? Yep. Hope I am. All right. Here's a crowd pleaser. Mercedes AMG teaser saying some of the faster is coming. What a tease. Just show us the car, please. Dodge Challenger. Drag pack like damn going ham with the hemi pretty heavy. Almost loses it on the track, but still got me down yelling. Just give me a drag pack. That's a uh, Adam Sandler reference. Distracted driver not paying attention. Jumps a drawbridge. Luckily before full extension trying to be like Duke's a hazard. More like Duke of failure. Julie Ham stepping down his Toyota CCO after, after trying to ship a bunch of pills of oxycodone to Japan. That was a bad game plan. She was a top female exec. Gave up a pretty good paycheck. Seven Continental GT Speed Brightling Jet Team Series Bentleys to match seven Brightling Albatross Jets. Buy one, here's what you get. Take a flight in a jet, make your stomach upset, then you realize, damn, I'm in a whole lot of debt. Hate your commute, try this route. The Smart 4-4 rides on rails, literally, but it's just a whole bunch of bull, just a commercial, and it's a fun stunt that they just pulled. Live in New Hampshire? State motto is live for your die. But if you're driving and you're holding a cell phone, it's more like hands for your fine. They just passed the law, it's only a matter of time. And that's it, chicks and dudes, for this edition of Rapid Fire News. <laughs> Kaboom! There we go, that Kaboom is like right, it. yeah. <laughs> there we go, Rapid Fire. And at the mouth. That was me. But Plus saying rhymes. words. That's right. All right. <laughs> Moving right along. Since it is 4th of July this weekend here in America, and like I said, yeah, everywhere else, let's keep our FLD question of the day to this. <laughs> what is, in your opinion, the most American muscle car available today? I guess. I guess I'd go with, I'm leaning towards the Mustang GT. It's V8, it's naturally aspirated, it's pure unassisted American muscle. And the Mustang, a lot of, a lot of American history in the Mustang. Tom, what about you? Camaro ZL1. The Camaro ZL1, very nice. I would have to agree with that. Maybe any Camaro, but that's the top dog. Erica? Thinking maybe Corvette would be nice. Corvette, I didn't even think of that. Corvette's another like lot of American history behind that car. American. You going Z06? You're just, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'll take anything. Yeah, actually, I'll take anything. That's fine. <laughs> totally. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Use hashtag FLD, Q of the D, and uh, let us know. And you can send your own into, what is that, Tom? Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you. Hey, that's going to do it for Fastlane Daily today on this Friday. I'm Derek D, and it's the Forts of Jill. It's the Forts? <laughs> It's the 4th of July here in America, tomorrow, and everywhere else, of course. But here, it's our Independence Day, America's birthday. So if you're going out this weekend, I want you to be safe, eat some barbecue, celebrate America, and remember what it's really about. And you could even throw some hammers back there. You could throw some hammers back there. Send us a video of you throwing hammers back there. Also, to top off an awesome weekend of America, the USA, World Cup women's team plays Japan in the championship on Sunday. So let's go American women. Yeah. Soccer. Woo. Yeah. And in general, let's go American women. Team USA. Here's to you. Team USA. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye now. Bye. 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 Almost losing on the track, but still just give me a track pack. Give me a drag pack. <laughs> hate yourself. Hate, hate your commute. <laughs> Live in New, live in New Hampshire. Oh, boom. Oh, man. That was rough. Live and live and, uh. That was a lot of Just problems. for the record, I don't hate myself. Ow, we're living in a fast lane, baby.